We are one step closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? NASA announced the discovery of seven Earth-sized planets around a star about 40 light years away from Earth. That translates to 235 trillion miles. All seven could have water, which means the key to life is like ours there. Three of the planets fall in the habitable zone. That's where liquid water on the surface is most likely. CBS News science and futurist contributor, that's Michio Kaku, is a physics professor at the City University of New York. Welcome. We haven't seen you in a long time, but this, you're only here when it's something big, and this is big. This is big. I heard it described as this, Michio. It's like finding a a pot of gold next to the Holy Grail. Is it that big? It's big. This is, <laughs> NASA has hit the jackpot this time. Uh -huh. Okay, the Holy Grail is to find an Earth-like twin in outer space. We have now taken a giant step toward that, to find another planet in outer space, perhaps with oxygen, perhaps with liquid oceans, perhaps with radio transmissions, perhaps some life form. Not just one. Yeah, that's right, I we have say, seven yeah. possible yeah. candidates. Yeah. This is unprecedented. Astronomers are just jumping up and down right now. How did they I actually find these? Well, it's very difficult because these planets cannot be seen directly. However, when they go in front of the mother star, it dims the light from the mother star, mm -hmm. and that's how we do it. We look for periodic dimming of stars, and that is a characteristic of a planet moving in front of the star. Mm -hmm. You said twin, and I said triplets because three of them are actually in what's called the habitable zone. Explain what that means and what it may mean in terms of if there's life out there. That's right. This is called the Goldilocks zone. If a planet is too close to the sun, then the oceans boil away. Yeah. If a planet is too far from the sun, the oceans freeze. Mm -hmm. You have to be just right from the sun to have liquid water, which is the universal solvent. It's where DNA first gets off the ground. So what's the next step here for scientists? The next step is we want to look at the atmospheres of these planets. We want to look for oxygen, yeah. water vapor. We want to look maybe even for radio transmissions. Perhaps there's intelligent life there. Perhaps they've harnessed some kind of radio. So this means that we're now hot on the heels of our best shot at finding a twin in outer space. Will we know next week? <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll take lots of uh, months and months of very painful work because an announcement of, that we have found evidence of life is huge. Huge. Yeah. Much bigger than like Columbus discovering the new bigger world. Bigger than Columbus. 235 trillion miles sounds Hop, very, skip very and far. a jump. Come on. Is, is it? Yeah, it would take I'll a few... In, a in astronomical terms. Yeah, it would take a few hundred thousand years for a Saturn rocket to reach that distance. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. All right. All right, All right. Professor Kaku, thanks very much.